Welcome back to my channel. Uh, well, today we're going to be talking about part two of the Fibonacci sequence. Uh, if you remember in uh, the last episode, we talked about the Fibonacci. The algorithm that I used was basically to start two variables, x with zero and y with the value one. And then I would check to see if the value was less than 255. If it was, I would continue to print uh, X, which is my Fibonacci number. If it wasn't, I would end the program. Uh, if I printed the value, I would do the appropriate uh, assignment of the values. And then I would loop that until it was 255. If everything were correctly, the numbers that would have to print on the screen will be 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, and 233. I did this uh, program in GW Basic and also in Quick Basic. This is what I got for the um, GW Basic. And quickly, 10, I, re I did the remark, REM. Uh, I cleared the screen, I printed the name, Fibonacci sequence. And then I initialized my variables. Uh, you notice how this here, I did Z equals zero in the algorithm, it wasn't like that, but that's only to establish that I'm using the third variable to add the previous two values, which are X and Y. And then I did my while loop, and then I did my incrementation, printed my X value and my went. Uh, when it ran the program, I got the numbers correctly. The program was fairly fast. For once, it's a small program with a one, one loop. And secondly, I'm only doing it uh, while the number is below 255. So obviously it was very fast. And here's the file they created. It's only 143 bytes. So I, I don't think we can beat that. It's really, really fast and, and small file size. Of course, you have to have GW basic for it to run. Um, then I did the same program in Quick Basic. Obviously it changed a little. There's no line numbers as I mentioned before the same variables, the same loop, the same algorithm. Here, the files, I created three files, the basic file, which is 615 bytes, uh, the objective and uh, the object and the executable, which is 3,3 3 kilobytes. There is a big difference in file size, but you don't need an interpreter to run the program because it's an executable file and it's really, really fast. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing the same program using the same algorithm, but I'm going to be using Turbo Pascal uh, 7.0 from Borland, and I'm also going to be using Turbo C++, and I will do the same comparison uh, with the Fibonacci uh, sequence that I did in BASIC, and then I'm going to compare all four of them, uh, so you can see the difference in the number of files it created the sizes, and also we'll talk a little bit about the speed at the end of this video. So here we go. Okay, so here we are in Turbo Pascal, and I'm going to go ahead and use the same um, the same uh, algorithm that I used for the other programs. I'm going to start with the uh, my little remark in Turbo Pascal. We use brackets to enter uh, comments. I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it Fib. I'm gonna use CRT, using that for clearing the screen. In Turbo Pascal, we do have to declare our variables. I'm going to use x, y, and z. And we'll do this integers. And we do the begin and end. And in between, we do this. We 
which are variable declarations of X, Y, and Z. We're gonna clear the screen. And I'm gonna write to the screen the name. And I'm gonna do my while loop. While x less than 255 do. And I'm gonna begin and end semicolon inside of my loop. I will do the right. X and I'm going to do my addition and I'm going to uh, do the assignments. And that should do it. Very straightforward. I'm going to save it as, and I'm going to call it FIV. Just fifth. And I'll automatically do the extension of PAS. And now I'm going to make it. I'll change the destination. And I'm going to make it. Success. I'm going to exit. And there is my Pascal file in my executable. So I'm gonna do fib, let's see if it works. Great. So let's go back to Turbo Pascal and I'm going to open my file and there is my Fibonacci sequence in Turbo Pascal. Next we will do it in Turbo C++. Okay, so now let's go ahead and work on the Turbo C um, version of Fibonacci. And the first thing I'm gonna do, I open up my Turbo C++. It starts with a no name 00.cpp. I'm going to give it a name. I'm gonna call it Fib. And I'll make it with extension Fib.cpp. Uh, my comment, Fibonacci sequence. I'm going to do a couple of include statements. It's the DIO and Anio. I need both of them. Void main. I'm not going to do any results here. And I'm going to go ahead and start with my brackets. Int x equals zero, y equals one, and z equals zero. I'm gonna clear the screen. I'm gonna print F. Fibonacci sequence. And I'm gonna do a uh, forward slash and twice because I'm gonna skip a couple of lines. That's my go. There we go. I'm gonna do my while loop. And open our brackets. Remember, as long as it's under 255, X will print. That's how we print in C. And then do my addition. And now I'm going to shift the numbers around. And I close my loop and the end of the program. And that is it for uh, the Turbo C++ version. I'm gonna go ahead and save it. I don't do anything else. And I'm gonna go ahead and compile it. Success. And I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna go to my programs directory. And I'm gonna copy 
from the directory I was, which is bin. And now what I'm gonna do, I clear the screen and I'm gonna do a directory of fib. And you can see there's a backup which has zero files at this point. The actual uh, C++ file is 247 bytes. It's pretty small, not that bad. There's the object, uh, object file. And then of course we are executable. And uh, again, we don't need an interpreter here. It will work by itself. So if we type fib, it should work. And there it is, success. All right, let's go back to our bin. And uh, there's our Fibonacci sequence. Very well, now let's compare all of the files, uh, all of the uh, versions I did from the basic Pascal and C++. Okay, so here are the four uh, versions of the Fibonacci sequence the GW basic, quick basic, turbo Pascal and turbo C++. And uh, I put in the code for all four uh, versions here. So you can see that it's the same uh, algorithm. And then the file size, so as you can see the, the one with the smallest one is the GW basic. But again, you need GW basic to be running. And something that I notice here is that quick basic, turbo Pascal and turbo C++, the number of bytes that the executable takes gets bigger. And quick basic was 3,3 kilobytes. For Turbo Pascal is 4,3 and 10,9 for Turbo C++. Now, you will not be able to see a difference in speed in these four languages because this program is very small and the loop is very small. So for this particular example, you will not be able to tell the difference. So if the speed you want, I mean, I could tell you the triple C++ is probably the fastest, but you, can't, you couldn't tell with this, with this example. Um, on a future project, I will do a little benchmark in these four languages and see the difference in speed. And uh, most likely will be my next video. But for now, here are the numbers. And uh, don't forget, 